In this video, we will walk through the process of creating a mission using the Kespri mobile app on your iPad. In addition to going over the mechanics of planning a mission, we will cover a few best practices along the way. Before you start creating a mission, ensure your iPad is connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. First, go to the settings on the iPad, select Wi-Fi, and connect to an available Wi-Fi network. Alternatively, you can use cellular data if your iPad has a cellular connection. Exit out of the settings menu and click on the Kespri app. You may be prompted to log in with your Kespri Cloud credentials if you are not logged in already. Once in the Kespri app, to create a new mission, you can tap the blue Create New Mission button in the center of the screen or tap the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Next, you will be asked to provide a name for your mission. Depending on your workflow, this may be the location or type of flight you are trying to complete. If you are flying in an area you have never flown before, the name you provide here will be the name you use to locate your mission within the Casper Cloud. If you have flown this area previously, this mission will automatically be grouped under the existing site in the Casper Cloud. You can always change the site allocation later. Next, you will be prompted to create your safe area. The safe area is the area where you are approved to fly. Your current location will be indicated with an orange dot. You can use this point to locate the property you plan to fly if you are currently there. Be sure your safe area does not include public roads and that you only fly over property lines you are permitted to fly. Do not forget to include your drone's takeoff and landing location within your safe area. If you are planning a large mission, the safe area might be outside of the yellow line of sight circle. The yellow circle indicates the line of sight to see the drone as it is flying. Please note this is approximately 800 meters and flying outside of this area can result in link loss which will cause your drone to return home. If you are planning a mission away from your current location, you can click on the settings icon here and look up an address under address search. Additionally, you can toggle on Show Lat Long to view the latitude and longitude of the points creating your safe area perimeter. To zoom in on the map, use the Pinch to Zoom method by placing pinched fingers on the iPad surface and move them away from each other. Zoom in close to the perimeter of the area you will be flying over so that your safe area can be drawn more accurately. To draw your safe area, tap the area you would like to distinguish as the perimeter in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. When tapping the screen to place a point, the new points will appear between the points with the blue dots. If you happen to cross points, the safe area will turn red. To edit your safe area, you can drag your points so they no longer cross, or you can clear the area in your settings menu to start over. The gray line is a safety buffer provided to accommodate from winds as well as ensure there is a margin of distance away from public roads and property lines. Tap next after drawing your safe area to move on to the capture area portion of your mission planning. The capture area is the location you intend to model and view within Kespri Cloud. Please note, areas with dense trees or forests, tall grass, crops, and water will not map very well. Your capture area can be drawn the same way you plotted your safe area by tapping the screen to create points. You can toggle on your safe area to set your capture area boundaries all the way to the border of your safe area. Occasionally, you may need better control the direction of your mission's flight path or flight direction. For example, you may have an airspace authorization requiring flights to run parallel to a runway. Or you may need to adjust for high winds in a specific direction, or fly in a direction that helps better plan large missions. To change the flight direction, toggle on the flight direction option under settings. You will see a slider bar at the bottom of the capture area. 
As you slide the bar, the direction of the flight will adjust from 0 degrees to 180 degrees as shown. After pressing Next, you will be prompted to set your fly height. Fly height is the height in which the drone will fly during the mission. Set your fly height to a height that is above all obstacles and obstructions in your safe area relative to your takeoff point. Your fly height will affect the resolution of the photos being captured. The higher you fly, the lower the resolution, and the lower you fly, the higher the resolution. If you are planning large missions, it would be best to fly as high as possible to reduce your airtime and data size. Please note the FAA will not permit anyone to fly higher than 400 feet above ground level. Once you press Next, you will be asked to set your imaging height. Your imaging height is the height of the tallest object you want to measure relative to your takeoff point. This might be the tallest pile or the edge of the pit. You want this to be set as low as possible but still higher than everything you care about being in the final picture. You will see the number of passes the drone must fly increases as you increase your imaging height. This makes the drone take more photos along its path. This will also increase your data size and airtime. Ensure the drone completes a minimum of four passes if you are flying a small area so that it captures enough photos to stitch together to create your final model in the Caspi Cloud. The farther apart your fly height and imaging height are, the lower your data size and airtime. It is especially important to set your imaging height high enough to cover the tallest object you want to measure. For example, if the tallest pile you are measuring is 50 feet tall, your imaging height needs to be higher than 50 feet and it's always good to be conservative. In this example, set the imaging height to 60 to 70 feet to ensure you are covering that tallest pile and all the rest. Failing to do so can result in lower accuracy and holes in your final image in the Caspi Cloud. Before pressing Done, notice the data about your mission shows across the top of the screen. Here you can see the information about your fly height, the total area being imaged, airtime, and data size. This information can be especially useful when planning a mission as it will give you an idea on how long the mission may take to process after the upload and also how many batteries may be needed for the mission. Ideally, it is best to keep the mission size less than 5 gigabytes. As far as processing time is concerned, missions up to 10 gigabytes in size have a processing expectation of 4 to 6 hours, and anything larger than 10 gigabytes could be 8 or more hours. Please note that these are only estimates and they can be more or less as there are many factors that could affect processing time. Ensure your missions are a minimum of 250 megabytes and do not exceed 10 gigabytes in size. To alter your data size and airtime, adjust your imaging height. You can also view the current forecast of your location by tapping on the weather icon. This expands to show more information about the weather forecast. This should only be used as a guide. As the operator, you know how the weather is currently affecting your area and potentially your flight. Pay close attention to the wind speed and gust to be sure the weather is safe for the drone. Next to the weather icon, you will find the airspace advisories icon. This will let you know if your mission is in any type of controlled airspace. Tapping on the icon will expand the app to show more information about the advisories in your area. Tap Done to finish your mission. You will be redirected to the mission listing page. From there, you can select your mission, connect the drone, and proceed with your pre-flight checks when ready. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or run into any problems during mission planning, please contact Caspri Support at firmatech.com or call area code 210-651 4990 for further assistance.